Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my back to beauty no buy year. This year I am concentrating on using my makeup and not buying any. Today I'm not using my makeup at all, but I am bringing to you my month in review for March. If you're new to my channel, every month I bring to you in my month in review video my top products, my bottom products, a palette of the month, and a few fun extras. So let's go ahead and get into it. This month, I wouldn't say that I forced myself to pick out the top and bottom products, but I did have to think a little bit more about it. There weren't a lot of obvious tops or bottoms, and I think this may continue as I continue to be on the no buy. Um, but I did have a few that I wanted to share with you, so let's stop yammering and get into it. Okay. So hold on to your booties, ladies and gentlemen. My, pro my top product for this month is the Shart Tape Tape. And actually, I think she's earned her true and Christian name of Tarte Shape Tape, if I can retrain myself to call it that. And here's the thing. So I was panning this product for a while in my Grey's Anatomy project pan, I believe. Um, but through panning this product, I actually learned to like it. Maybe even love it. But the reason I put this in the top this month is this is one of the most versatile complexion products that I own in my collection. Um, Hannah Louise Poston has talked about before that she uses this to kind of spot conceal or even out her skin tone on her face in place of a foundation. And I started doing that as well. I talked about it in another video and even showed a demo of how I do that. But the short of it is <laughs> that I just dot this on the areas where I feel like I need a tiny bit of coverage and then I take a brush that's somewhat dense but also bendable <laughs> and I just buff the concealer into my skin. And if I'm being honest, this is probably going to be a fantastic product for summer. Um, so I'm excited for that, but it works as a concealer, but for me it also works as a foundation or a larger spot concealer, if you will. And I'm getting really close to being done with this. There's not a ton of product left. So I I don't know what to do if I would, I don't know that I have another product that functions this way in terms of concealers. And I'm kind of like not wanting to use this up now because it is my no buy year. And I have three other concealers that I need to finish before I could technically replace this one unless we create a new category in which this is a dual purpose product, a foundation slash concealer. I probably use it more as a foundation than I do as a concealer. Anyways, this was in the top this month. How shocked are you? Let me know below. So the next one is a tool actually, and this is my only other top product for the month, and it is this brush by Luxie. This is the 532 Round Top Blender Brush. And this brush also works really well for the shape tape technique that I was mentioning to you. This is a very dense round top brush. Yes, it's dirty. I use my brushes. <laughs> Um, but I love this. This absolutely makes my skin look airbrushed, whether I'm using the Shape Tape Concealer or my healthy foundation that I love. I don't generally use this for a BB cream, but I'm sure it would work just fine. But I tend to use a sponge with my BB cream. So I really love this brush. I also think this would be great for like cream bronzer, even cream blush. I mean, I just don't think there's anything that this brush probably couldn't do. And I really love it. I just happened upon it because I got it in a set from Boxy Lux in December, but I have been loving this. In fact, it has taken first place of my foundation brushes. And next, I have one fail for the month, and this is one that 
kind of was like a non-starter. Uh, it's the Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. I received this in my Boxy Lux in December as well. This mascara is horrible. Okay. The formula of this mascara feels like it would be hydrating, but it's so gooped with product. It reminds me a lot of the It Superhero Mascara in that it's very, very wet and gloopy, and that is not my jam at all. I like natural bristles, which this is, but I like them to be rather close together, maybe even an hourglass shape, which makes it easier to apply and I don't like clumpy spider gate lashes. I just don't. Everybody does their own thing and I like mine to be fluffy and long and somewhat natural. So this was a real letdown and I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it in my next beauty trash video. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried this many times. I've also, um, like I open it up regularly, hoping that the more it's opened and whatnot, that the formula might perform better and not be so gloopy on the wand, but it just isn't. <laughs> so you can probably look forward to seeing this in my beauty trash soon. So another surprising development this month is my palette of the month. It's not one that I worked with a lot this month, but when I did work with it, it worked like a dream and it reminded me that this thing works like a dream every single time I use it. I'm going to put swatches up for you so you can see just how beautiful it is. But this is the Rimmel Magnifies Jewel Rocks Edition tongue twister. And I used this in one of my three lucky looks that I created this month for St. Patrick's Day. This is beautiful. It absolutely works like any one of my high-end palettes. I can't say that that's true for all of these palettes that are created like this in this format um, because I have heard some misses. I picked this up on a whim. It was one of my wanting to want something trips to Walmart and I just grabbed it um, again on a whim. But I'm really glad that I did because this one really worked out for me. Every single time I use it, it works beautifully. So. All right, in the last several months, I have been sharing with you a tip or technique or what have you that I've been enjoying for the month. So like a month or so ago, it was blush draping. And I think the month before that was when I talked about using the shape tape as a foundation slash large area concealer. And this month, we're gonna talk about blush again. In March, I shot my stash for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Radiant Blush Kit. Looks like this. And my goal was to really put this to the test, use all the shades, use them alone, use them combined. And combined is where my technique of the month comes in. And for some of you, you may be like, well, duh, Kyra, everybody does this. But I didn't, and that is mixing blushes. <laughs> I never have done this before my YouTube journey in beauty. It just wouldn't have occurred to me. I also think I only had one blush <laughs> before my journey in beauty began on YouTube. So it really wasn't obvious to me until I shot my stash for this and I was like, I bet I could mix some of these. And I actually mix them in a couple of different ways. Um, today I'm wearing these two and I actually just mix them together. I dab dabbed in the light pink and then I dabbed in the salmon and then I applied it and this is what I got. My complexion's looking a little ruddy and uneven lately. I don't know what that's about. But anyhow, the other way that I mixed blushes this month was Sometimes I put the darker one, like going all the way back on the cheekbones and then did a lighter one on the actual apple of the cheek. I love that technique. But sometimes I did the opposite where I put like the lighter one all over the cheekbones and then just a tiny bit of a darker one on the apples of the cheek. 
And that was also really beautiful. So while it may be obvious to other people, it wasn't obvious to me. And now that I'm in the habit of pairing blushes, I'd like to try and do that with some of my single blushes and get into the habit of that because I think that just makes my collection that much more versatile if I can create new colors from existing colors. The last part of this video is going to be talking about new or replacement items to my collection. I did receive a few things from Angela in a swap when she came to visit last weekend. Just a impromptu, she called me in the morning and said, hey, what are you doing today? And I said, Nada, what, you, what are you doing today? And she's like, I'm thinking I'll come visit. And I'm thinking, awesome. <laughs> so it was fun. Anyway, she brought me a few things that she had been saving up for me and I'm gonna show them to you now. The first thing is a Smashbox liquid lipstick. This is gorgeous. Uh, when she asked me if I wanted it, I asked her, you know, if, if it was like a cool, like a blue red or a warm red. And she said it was a blue red and I said yes please because those are the reds that I actually can wear with my skin tone. Not for sure the name of the formula and I think the shade name is Bawsey, B-A-W-S-E. Hard to say really. <laughs> so there's that one. I've yet to put it on my lips but isn't it pretty? I think it's, it's a little lighter than some of the other blue reds that I have so I'm excited about that since spring is coming. And then the next thing that she brought was something that she had given another friend and they gave back and then she gave to me because I was interested in trying it. And that is the Stila Shimmer and Glow in the shade Carefree. Like I said, this is the Shimmer and Glow, so it's not glittery, but it is metallic and I cannot wait to put this on my eyes. It's like a pink with a warm reflect, pinky peach. And I think this is gonna be gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous for spring. I love pink in the spring. I did a video last year, which is probably cringy because it was a long time ago, but I did a spring products video called Think Pink. And it's because I always think pink when I think of spring. So I'm really excited to put that to use this coming month. I might just have to show up my stash for it. And then the other thing that she picked up for me is the Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil in Coconut. It was one of those situations with the Ulta brand that they do all the time where it's like buy two, get one free, or buy two, get two, whatever. She was ordering herself some lip oils and knew I was running low as well, and she picked up a coconut one for me, and I love this. Definitely my favorite of the flavors that, not flavors, scents that I've tried. And then the last thing was a sweet little surprise gift. <laughs> Whenever Angela comes to visit, we like to play with each other's makeup. If any of us, if any of us, if either of us has received or bought anything new, we like to try things. And so Angela had something new that I was desperate to try and I was ooing and aahing over it. I really loved it on my skin and everything, and that was the end of it. You know, I kind of pissed and moaned about it, um, really wanting this product and knowing that I couldn't purchase it because of my no by year, and lo and behold, when I opened the drawer where I keep such things, <laughs> There was the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick Blush in the shade Sexy Flush. I'm so blessed by this gift. <laughs> she did go ahead and repurchase one for herself, but here it is, and it's just absolutely stunning. I love the formula. It's creamy, but it's not too creamy. It's not hard to apply. It's one of those where I can apply it with the stick, tap it out with my fingers or a brush, and it's all good to go. Or, you know, apply it with a brush, you know, take the brush to the stick and then apply it that way. It just works like a dream, and I'm, <laughs> I'm so very thankful to you, Angela, for this sweet little gift. 
so but that's just the type of person she is and that's just one of the millions of reasons why I love her so there you go um so let's talk repurchases after more coffee the first thing is a powder it's makeup <laughs> So this is the number seven translucent perfect light pressed powder. This is a replacement for this. Her days are numbered. There's a tiny little ring around the outside. This will take me less than a week to finish, which is why I allowed myself to go ahead and repurchase this powder because it was on sale at that time. There it is, my first makeup repurchase for 2019. It's thrilling, isn't it? So that was $14.99. The next thing I purchased in March was a new e.l.f. lip exfoliator. I've pissed, and <laughs> I've pissed and moaned about this in the past, but I've gotten quite a few duds, but this one is not. It has the right scent. It has the right texture. It's still not as good as the first few that I remember purchasing from e.l.f., but I will use it and then I'll find some other thing to use. Next, I did repurchase a night cream because I used up my regular pump bottle of the PM moisturizer from CeraVe, CeraVe, however you want to say it. But I decided to try something a little different and I'm glad I did. This is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. Um, and on the website or wherever I looked at it, this is said to have peptides in it. And I would loosely compare this to the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream shenanigans. This feels exactly like that when I put it on. Maybe just a smidge less luxurious and it doesn't have the beautiful smell that the Drunk Elephant one does but my skin likes this and I think my skin likes peptides. So I'm using this, that was $13.79 by the way, a little bit more expensive than my usual. I thought I was going to purchase a mud mask as in a clarifying pulls debris and gunk out of your pores, you know, put on wet, wash off when it's dry type mud mask. However, <laughs> I don't always read things the best when I'm out shopping, and this was one of those situations. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud Cleanser with 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera. It says deep purifying cleanser. This is what she looks like. It's actually a cleanser, not a mud mask. It is very nice cleanser, very gentle, even though it says that it's purifying. So. It will get used. I've put this one in my shower. I'm now going to use the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser at night and this one in the morning. I was wanting to have a bit more gentle of a cleanser in the morning, so I think that will fit the bill. And that was $18, ouch. Next, I did repurchase my Garnier Micellar Water. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the one for oily skin, and I love it. I've repurchased this over and again. This is the one I will continue to purchase because it is $5.99. And then the last thing that I purchased in March was replacement eye makeup remover. This is the Up and Up Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. It is compared to Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. And this two pack goes for $7.19 at Target. And I love it, it works. It does the job, 100% does the job. It doesn't burn my eyes or anything. It gets all of the makeup off and it's cheap. <laughs> so there you go. So the total for this month was $62.96 in terms of repurchased products. And when adding in February and January, I am at $199.55 so far for 2019. And I gotta tell you, I'm saving a lot of money. <laughs> 
I feel like I've been filming for an eon. So with all that said, I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.